Now, a really interesting thing happens if you shoot a charged particle into a region of magnetic field where the magnetic field has a direction that is parallel to one component of the particle's velocity. A very interesting thing happens that actually leads to the northern lights, one of the most beautiful things you can experience on this Earth. So let's just talk about very simply what happens when you put a charged particle uh, you shoot it into a magnetic field that is parallel with its velocity. So here's the magnetic field, and let's say I have a charged particle here, plus charge and velocity is right there. Velocity is parallel to magnetic field. What happens to this particle? Well, because the magnetic force is uh, QV cross B, the angle between V and B here is zero, and the cross product, the sine of theta of zero, is also zero. There is no force on this particle, so it will just continue through completely with its velocity unchanged. But now what we have down here, in this situation right here, is only one component of the particle's velocity is parallel to the magnetic field. It does have a component of velocity that is this way. It's got one component that way, but only one component. So that component of its velocity remains unaffected. So it will continue parallel with the x-axis in this situation. That velocity gets unimpeded. The other two components, though, cause this thing to circle. So what do you get when you combine something that's circling around with something moving at a constant velocity in one direction, you get what is called a helix. And that, what, that is exactly what a particle will do when it's shot into a region of magnetic field, which uh, the direction of magnetic field is parallel to only one component of the velocity. It will move in a helical path. And what does this have to do with the northern lights? Well, particles are trapped by the Earth's magnetic field. Here's the Earth right here. And, of course, up at the north end of the Earth, what, uh, right by where Santa Claus lives, what magnetic pole is that? That's the south magnetic pole. And then you also have the north magnetic pole down there. And it's just like a bar magnet. You've got all these magnetic field lines going from south to north and like that and around. And, of course, these lines are always forming complete loops. I'm only going to draw two of them in there. But when you have charged particles coming in from outer space, like cosmic rays, what they do is, I'll draw one more field line right here. Once they get in towards this line right there, if there's one component parallel, it will start spinning around in a helical path right around that magnetic field line. And when it hits up here at the north uh, the North Geographic Pole, again, that's the South Magnetic Pole, it ionizes particles in the atmosphere. And depending on what, what kind of molecule you're ionizing, nitrogen or oxygen or other, some of the trace elements or compounds, you get cool different colors. And that is how the Northern Lights form, by these particles coming in, swirling in, in their helical paths and hitting the atmosphere. And that's why they happen at the North and South Poles. You have both uh, the uh, Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights, and you also have the Southern Lights too. And that's because these uh, charged particles of space come in and start spinning around these magnetic field lines in a helical path.